Hey guys. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. I'm already crying, so I apologize. Um, I have experienced a lot of wow moments in my life, but I think tonight it's probably topping all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I just want to thank all of you for letting me feel your love. Um, I hope you feel all of mine. Um, it's taken me a long time to get here, so I hope you feel that. It's a very, <laughs> thank you. It's an extremely humbling experience for me to receive this award uh, from the Human Rights Campaign and to know that this is about my visibility. Uh, one way I can express my gratitude is by telling you guys the truth about me. So let me share three, let me share three things you guys might not know if you don't follow me on social media. <laughs> um, first of all, I grew up in Kansas. I also spent six years in Hot Springs, which is where Chad's from, and his family's still there. Um, Second, I have always been obsessed with clouds. And at one time I thought I was gonna be a meteorologist instead of being an actor. Um, and third, I am gay. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, you may have guessed that since I've wore a neon green tux while taking my then boyfriend to my high school prom where I was nominated for prom king. Um, okay, maybe you, you did know that. Um, but earlier this year, I guess my, my coming out, it was, it was a bit splashy for many people. And it, you know, it wasn't very surprising for those who already knew me the best, and I've known Chad for 10 years, so he's known. But that's how entertainment works. And it, it seems to make a bigger deal of everyone's personal decisions, you know? And every one of you already knows this, I, I never made a, a decision to be gay. That came just as naturally as the color of my eyes. Um, but however, it's up to me to be honest and open with everyone. And that's why I'm here tonight, and that's why tonight's so special for me. Uh, I, I'm asked to play so many different roles as an actor. I'm sorry. Tonight, I can actually be myself for the first time. It feels incredible. I can also tell you that I feel extremely lucky. Tonight, I'm up here with my friend Chad Griffin and surrounded by hundreds of new friends and allies. And I feel lucky just knowing that we have such a strong, fierce, united community that believes, as I do, that equality is our birthright. It's not a slogan. Let me also be even more honest with you. I don't necessarily feel especially deserving of this recognition. Um, you know, we all know that there are many other ways, many other people who have, have come before me and blazed the trail as LGBT advocates and role models. And I'm walking in their shoes and I'm following in their lead. Instead, I'll accept this award as a promise. My promise is simple and real, and I'm not making it to you. <laughs> I'm making it to the next generation of lesbians and gay men, bisexuals, tra and transgender youth, and I hope my example will give them the confidence and hope to be who they are as well. Uh, and I... <laughs> and for them to conquer their own fears and their own hesitations. I want to give them just a little more courage to know that they're loved just as they are and to know that they'll grow up beautiful and strong and proud. I can't promise them it's going to be easy or painless, trust me. I know there's going to be so many dark places for them and fears holding them back. Sometimes we listen to the wrong voices, uh, people telling us that you can't or that you shouldn't. I mean, we all do. We, we have to listen to our own voices and our own hearts, and that's when we become the best people. Um, <laughs> uh, I hope that every young person will know that they're not alone because of all of you guys. There are many of us exactly like them who love them unconditionally and who know that being open and honest makes all the difference. For more than a generation, the Human Rights Campaign has championed our equality and the crucial importance of coming out. 
You guys inspire me more than you can even understand. It's taken me a long time to get to this point, and I thank the HRC for the, the continued support. And you give me the strength through your hard work to live my life openly and honestly now. And to tell you tonight, I, I have never felt healthier or happier in my entire life. So thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And it's up to me now to pay that forward. I have many hopes for the future and many ambitions as an actor and an artist. And on a personal note, I have to confess that I also want to raise kids of my own <laughs> eventually, maybe half a dozen, have a basketball team or something like that. Uh, but I, I would love to not raise them alone. Lucky for all of us, with the historic achievement of marriage equality last year, none of us need to go through the world alone or without the commitment of the person we truly love. <laughs> As an actor, I, I know that not every film or television show has a happy ending. And thanks to each one of you into the human rights campaign, many more of us will have a very happy beginning. You make the impossible seem a little easier, and you give me the hope that I want to share with the world tonight. So thank you guys so much for the outstanding honor and for accepting me. And um, every day forward, I will work extremely hard to deserve it. So thank you guys so much.